Hello. It has been very, very long. Yeah, I guess so. And I have grown personality wise. I have also grown a little bit smarter. And I have also grown a pimple on my nose. Which makes me look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. So I'm probably a reincarnation of him. But small talk aside, I'm right now taking you with, with me to build a so called PC together. A 600 euro PC, to say the truth. And since this is the first true PC that I'm building, or I'm building together with my friend, I will take you along the ride. So, we have this tower thingy, which is used to contain the entire PC. We have the core, which is the core. We have the motherboard, we have the HDD, which is the hard disk, which, which contains all, well, which is used to contain things like, it's like a bigger USB stick. Then we have the RAM, we have the keyboard, we have the electric thingy, we have the graphic card, and we have the SDD, which, to be honest, I have no idea what it's used for but the friend which I'm building it and which has designed this PC told me that an, that an SDD is good because then the PC will be faster yeah <coughs> I also have the show thingy right here you can see me in the thingy I, I have I would say I would I'm using this show thingy because this was gathering dust in my family's garage or storing room. So I will right now wait until my friend has arrived and until then see you. Okay, so before my friend actually comes to my home, I will open everything I will open everything up so that we can uh, like save a couple of seconds and I can also enjoy the smell of new technical stuff. Oh. To be honest I don't have a big like static for the camera, I only have a tripod so you will have to get used to this one dimensional thingy. Let's open the keyboard first, because I think I'm not going to destroy anything on that. Most important thing, a knife. Okay, so right now I'm back with a knife. A good, long, sharp knife. Very, very good at opening things. Here's the keyboard. The sweet medical sweet keyboard. <laughs> Let's smell it. Yep, it's the smell of plastic. keyboard it feels brand new which is very good holding it down and then moving on to the next thing looking at the safety instruction which is very simple you just 
you just plug it in like you put the keyboard and then plug it into the PC. Closing it in order to save the box for warranty issues. Issues. And then moving on to the next thing, which is not the HDD because the HDD can be very opened very easily. We left on side, the same with the RAM, also left on side. Let's open the electric thingy. Yeah, it's the smell of new things. We have the usual manual. I have no idea what to do with it. Cable. Some stuff. And the actual electric thing here. It's very nice. It looks like a cable salad to me. I have no idea what to do with it, but my friend probably knows what to do with this shit. Saving the boxes. Mm. So this is the box thingy which will also be moved towards the holding place. Which is I do think is pretty much my bad. Yay. Also, to be honest, I just realized that it's kind of boring to watch me like opening everything from a one dimensional side. So I will switch the camera angles a little bit. So right now I'm opening the graphic thingy card. In the box, there is another box.
We have a DC, a CD. We have expl explanation stuff. The good smell. Okay. Everything will go back except this CD, which, which I will probably be using, or my friend will be using. Damn. Clothing the spot is harder than I thought. So this is the graphics thingy. The usual manual with the insulation CD. I'm not quite sure if I'm able to touch everything, but I do think it's okay. This is the graphic card thingy. Moving back slowly, slowly, and then move on with the next thing, which is the motherboard. I have kind of hear, heard or that when you touch anything from a PC, you also have to touch a metal thing. I've only hear, heard it from a friend of mine, so I'm not sure, but I think there's no harm in doing this shit. Oh my god, the handbook is this fat. Holy shit. Okay. Moving it closely. Yeah. It's the motherboard. And I guess I will also put this shit, I will also put the motherboard on my bed. Graphic card. Mm. This shit. Graphic card. And then the almost last thing the SDD. which is this size. Ah, oh, static sensitive device. So it was good that I touched the metal thingy. I will now open the core processor thingy. which will be the last opening for today and then I will start building the PC and hoping that my friend will arrive at that time we have the insulation instructions we have Plastic. Uh, I guess I will try to not touch this core. 
Mm. Because you could, because you can see the core like already here. So I guess I will move then to the building part and see you then. Okay, so right now I think already like. Two, two and a half hours passed and the PC was finally finished. Everything went alright and here it is. Yeah. And since this is the monitor or the build or the picture thingy everything is alright now since I didn't have a LAN cable which is like 20 meters long it will be delivered like tomorrow or yeah it will probably be delivered tomorrow so I thank you for watching the unbox video I didn't film the building thingy because it was just like yeah we kind of had a lot, lot of things to do and I didn't think that it was that interesting like I, all, I only watched and it kind of stretched so thank you for watching and have a great day and see you in the future. Okay so right now it is the evening I have finished editing a video with the new PC software and which you can see there. and here's the video and I will test how long does it take for it to render for a general rule I have about like if it's a 10 minute video video it probably takes about three to four hours on my old laptop so let's test it Oh my god, this is so amazing. It only takes like one to two, one, one and a half minute to render a three minute video. It's, it's absolutely amazing. So thank you and bye.